Hello, Andy Graham of uh, my HoboTraveler.com. I'm in uh, Guatemala and I, I wanted to show you one of the hobby benefits of travel. Um, I got a I got a backpack that I've been using for two or three years. It's this one. It's got this. I've modified it many times. It's got a I don't know what it's got in it right now. It's got a bunch of cloth in here from my backpack I just made. But it, it's a computer bag, and it's got a, got a pocket right here where I put the camera. So I just turn it around, open it up, pull the camera out when I did. So the other day, just for kicks, I took the backpack and took this backpack and took it to a to a tailor like guy. I'm like, yeah, he's not a tailor. This guy sells stuff and said, make a copy. And this is what he came back with. But what I wanted to do this. I don't know what, if you understand how tribes work, but a lot of the tribes are different places. I'm going to put this on the front. Tribes in the planet have colors. So this is the, the village of Santa Catarina here on Lago Atalan. And this is the color of the, the girls' um, thing. Now, they're real. This is kind of a personal thing because um, for the last uh, 12 years, I've came here maybe five or six, seven times. And I've stopped in. And the very first time I came here, a girl with a set of Katarina blouse on came up to me and, you know, has a little thing in her head and was selling the stuff to me. And so I, I wanted to, I thought I'd get a camera bag made. Now, I guess this is a little too foo-foo for me, but I realized that I could make another one with just the accents here. And I, I would always be able to see the, the bag if it was being tossed around or, you know, tossed my computer bag around. But... They made this bag. It's a computer bag. And I can put a computer in here and put the camera right here. I can open it up. Um, I'm, I'm probably going to make another one. Now, this material, like right here, cost about $20 just for the, the yard of material because it's all hand-woven, very expensive stuff. There's a bag up here. There's a pouch here. He made a copy of it. It's here. There's an extra pocket there. But this is one of the funnest things about... Um, traveling is that you have a lot of uh, custom. Um, you have ability to say, I want my pants to have this pocket over here, and you just take it in, and they do it for like three dollars. And uh, this one, this cost me, let's see, it cost me about fifteen dollars, 100 Q, whatever that is, maybe 12.50 or something, to have this bag made. I paid it, and now I had to pay for the material. Now, my goal was to try to come up with a nice uh, backpack. Now the zipper and Guatemala really has really bad clips. And th this kind of stuff, the strap and all this stuff, is really pretty chintzy quality, and it's really hard to do to get it to up to I don't know world class standards. I mean, you'd have to really go chase all around the planet to find these things. Um, I wanted to put these really sell them in production. Now, to me, the things. Uh, Probably as it sits, it's probably a real good backpack to give it to buy my girlfriend in Africa. <laughs> okay, she would look really good in this, but um, we'd have to reinforce it some more because everything's going to fall apart. But pretty cool bag. Now, this is hand woven, very expensive cloth. It's uh, I I seen this somebody paid twenty dollars a yard yesterday, beat them to death, get them down twenty dollars. Um, $20 a yard. Hand woven, but I mean it'd be $50 a yard in America. Now, does somebody appreciate that? I don't think so because they really don't understand that what Santa Catarina means to me. Now, Santa Catarina means to me is these cute little uh, cutchy cow girls walking around trying to sell you stuff all day and they're one of the reasons why I'm here because I I enjoy the kind of like little fun situation where the people are very polite but persistent trying to sell you stuff and some people they drive crazy after a while but on the other side to me it's the reason to be here is because of the people and forever I'll remember Santa Catarina as a place that uh, makes me smile so um, I one time took a baleo from Mexico because these little kids would come by every day and say, baleo, baleo, it's a little piece of bread, and I put it, dried it, 
sprayed it down with varnish and put it on my shelf in my in America's because I love these little things every morning and have them for breakfast. But this is one of the the little endearments of living abroad and uh, living in these places like this. Um, you can actually come up with a little dream and and then go pursue it. Um, some people minimize this kind of stuff, but it's very difficult in America to sit there and take your clothes and have them custom altered, custom designed, and it's one of the benefits. I don't know. I, I think a, a camel bag, this is my camera bag. I need to make some longer pockets on the side. I need to make it so that they could put a, a full size, you know, huge Canon camera in there. And my goal was is that I could go to Africa or something and everybody thinks I have just kind of a a woo-woo bag, and really I got a, you know, a computer and a camera in there and, you know, a year's worth of wages inside, right? I always look at the camera bags and, you know, they telegraph exactly what they're doing and that's, that's not what I can do. I go to places like Iraq, East Timor, during military coups. I was in Ivory Coast last year when they were having a you know, a big war between the Islamic people and the Christians and stuff like that. Had to leave the country, zoom out, fly to Senegal. I need a bag that doesn't look like a camera bag because it would make me feel you, you got to hide in plain sight. Okay, having fun, but this is one of the true enjoyments of doing it now. Obviously, I will wear it on my back. Okay, Andy, hobo traveler, trying to explain one of the joys of travel.